My mama done told me. Hi, and welcome to Vintage Hollywood, your guide to the silver screen. I'm Lauren Lojudache coming to you live from the Jane Hotel in New York City. So this season we're focusing on Greta Garbo, and I'm going to focus on something that happened at the end of her life, towards after her career was over. She had a very interesting relationship um, with a married couple, George and Valentina Schley. And how she started to meet them was her friend Gaylord Hauser um, brought her, Greta to Valentina's dress shop. Valentina was a, a very um, famous dressmaker at the time. And apparently um, Greta was getting a fitting and Greta was um, quite um, unreserved in terms of um, her body. She was naked during the, fi the fitting and George came into the room and saw Greta Garbo naked and just kind of stopped in his tracks. And from there, um, they were all attracted to each other and they hang out quite often. Um, they were seen around New York City at various parties and events, and and the interesting thing was Valentina and Greta looked alike. So often did they play on this joke, and they would dress very very similarly, um, and this led to some speculation: what's going on? Is there it's just like a menage a trois? We don't know exactly what went on, but we know that they were spending a lot of time together, and there was a lot of mutual attraction between them. It started to change a little bit. Eventually, Greta and George spent more and more time together. They would go on vacations alone. They would spend time in Greta Garbo's apartment alone. Greta eventually moved into the building where they lived. They lived on the sixth floor. Greta moved to the fifth floor. And that led to even more intense connection. Um, then disaster struck. George, they were in Europe. Greta and George were in Europe. And George fell um, ill with a massive heart attack and basically dropped dead on the spot. Greta didn't really know what to do. She knocked on her friend um, Cecil, um, Cecile Rothschild's door um, and got her to help her deal with the situation. She barely spoke French. Um, and Valentina eventually had to fly to, to France to deal with the whole situation and bring George back, and etc. Um, but absolutely, from that moment on, detested Greta Garbo. She, as soon as she got back to New York City, she went through all the old albums and scratched out Gre Greta's face. Um, and then she had a shaman come to her house and exercise Greta Garbo's energy from the house. Um, she never spoke to her again. She referred to her um, as that woman on the fifth floor or the fifth floor. And they started to have these weird rules. They, they grew old in this building. They were both very financially well off, but they refused to move, either of them. So they would have weird rules about interaction. They would come home, Greta knew she had to be home at a certain time, before or after, say about seven o'clock, because Valentina often came home at that time and she never wanted to bump into her either in the sidewalk, in the elevator, etc. The doorman also knew never to mention one to the other and also to deliver one to never to the same elevator car. Interestingly enough, they both died within six months of each other. So while they definitely a lot of hate involved in their relationship and a lot of animosity and ill will, they sort of had, they had a bond that lasted until the end.